back. So, uh, just uh, tonight is also challenge lock night. Uh, not just uh, Lockwood week, but uh, every other night is challenge lock night. So, here I am. Um, reached in the bucket of locks from Black Dolphin 90. Uh, and uh, this did not say it was a challenge lock, but he had emailed me and told me that he was making his uh, one of his uh, challenge locks for me and this is the evil era that he <laughs> pinned up for me he said that's weird you guys hear that yeah um, there's something missing from this lock <laughs> and I'm looking at wow I'm seeing that that first pin does not have any spring on it, whatsoever. and it's really, really thin. Holy crap. Um, I don't think my camera's picking that up. He didn't put a back piece on this, um, and I can't remember why he said he, that he didn't. But at any rate, um, <laughs> looks like it's a six pinner, um, and I already know what I'm up against. I, I know I'm up against missing, missing pieces here. So let's uh, put this in the vise. See if I can get into it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, always got some crazy going on. Okay, let's see here. Put that in there. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Um, it has a Yale style keyway. Um, so I should be able to use my. And no key, by the way, so I don't want to lock this back up uh, if I do actually get it open. A bit of slop in that. Um, my 40,000th works just fine. You know what? I'm going to use my gem. Um, let's grab my gem. Where is my gem? There she is. Okay. And I'll work off this ledge as I always do. Um, or on Yale style keyways. Let's zoom in for you guys. Hopefully you can give some kind of view of what I got going on there. Um, there we go. And uh, we're going to do what we always do, which is... Whew, okay, it is loose. Uh, we're going to start in the back of the lock. I don't have a tailpiece on this. I'm not going to put it on either. Um, I figure if I can get into it, then I won't save me trying to get it off. Um, there we go. I'm in the back of the lock. Um, let's search for a binder. Kind of light tension. Okay, three. Oh, okay. Went to a good false set there. Boy, that... Okay, I'm trouble getting under, okay, two, hold on, four, okay, wow, that's a deep false set, um, there is no spring tension on one whatsoever, you know what, I'm not getting, with that deep, I should be having a T-pin or some counter-rotation. I don't know if you guys see that. That's, that's pretty deep. Um, I think I'm going to try something. Being that I know that pin 1 has no spring in it, we're gonna try something here. This is a little unorthodox, but we are going to take it out of the vise because I know I've picked locks without springs in them before. And I know there's a nifty little trick we can do here. I'll pull this out. Oh, oh don't drop it. Don't drop it. And we are gonna flip it upside down. Maybe let that drop and see. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. It is picked. Um, you guys can see that is picked. So, did not fool me on that one, Black Dolphin 90. <laughs> Let's see what kind of crazy you put in this thing, though. Um, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, <laughs> had I not heard that rattling around in there, I'd have had no idea to try that. Uh, that worked out awesome. Um, okay, we are going to shim this lock for sure. Um, I don't have to take tailpiece off because, well, he didn't uh, tailpiece on it. 
All right, let's see if we can find out what Black Dolphin 90 put in this evil era here. Um, pins are up. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there is no key <laughs> in this. No key for this, but I want you guys to... Okay, I'm just going to dump the pins. There is nothing in one, by the way. Um, that was what I thought was happening, why I flipped the lock over. Um, one fell back up into the Bible. I have a feeling there was no spring and a long... Probably too long for this. I don't know. Uh, we're going to figure that out. So, two key pin is a T-pin. Three is a standard... Uh, four is a standard, a very short standard. Five is a, another standard. Uh, and six is, okay, got a wafer in it. That's weird. A wafer and a uh, short key pen. Um, let's see, wow. Is that counter milled? I think those are, everything but one is counter milled. Um, Yeah. I'm going to grab a different pick, a center pick. Uh, maybe not. It's definitely got something done to it. I think it was supposed to be counter milling. But I'm not going to count it because it's not very deep. Maybe it's oversizing. I don't know, but at any rate, um, pretty much nothing going on up there. It kind of looks like he counter milled it, but I don't feel it. So if there's counter milling, it's very, very shallow. So um, but let's see what the magic is upstairs here. Um, now again, there's no spring in one, so I have to turn it upside down probably to get that to come out. Oh, let's take the shim out first. That would help. There we go. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Um, I have two pieces of rod. <laughs> okay. Um, that's unique. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. In, there's a spring in two, so... And it is a spool. With a... A very large long spring. Okay. Three barely popping over the shear line. He is a short tiny baby spool there. Um, you know what? Let's see if I can dump the spring for that one first. There we go. He's a short little short uh, copper spring. I'm going to flip this around and do the rest of this from the back. Let's do four, four, uh, six Five and four, let's see, six, uh, nothing popped out. Is there anything in six? I see something in there. There is something in six, but it's turned sideways. Oh, another wafer. <laughs> and a spring with... Uh, a rod through it. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, that was in six. Alright, where's my tweezers? Five is a spool. And four. Nothing came out of four. Okay, let's see here. Five. There's the spring out of five. Now the only thing that should be left is four, so let's just see. Okay. There is nothing in four. Um, let me get a light here. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything down in there. And no threading or anything else going on, but wow. <laughs> what a mix. Uh, that's insane. Okay. Let's do a close-up of all this craziness that was in this lock. I have no idea, man. 
Ah, uh, this is crazy. This has got to be the weirdest lock I've ever picked. Uh, hands down, thank you Black Dolphin 90 for this. <laughs> the weirdest I've ever picked. Um, Alright. Looks like we had two rods in chamber number one. They were kind of in the key pin position until I flipped it upside down and they both went up into the driver position. So, I'm guessing... Yeah, they're, I, they're thin rods. They're not even the size of... I mean, they look like wire. <laughs> um, then we had a T-pin key pin in two. Let's see if I can get that to focus. And a spool in the driver with a large silver spring. Then we have a standard in the driver, or in the key pin of three with a very short spool. Um, that's kind of a uh, uh, GG driver, almost. Uh, and then a uh, short copper spring. Then in uh, four we had a key pin and no spring and no driver. Um, <laughs> in five we have a um, that is actually, yeah, that's a tapered, tapered key pin, uh, and a uh, spool. Sorry, I wanted to look at that. A spool and a tapered key pin with a uh, steel spring. Then in five, or I mean in six, we have a standard key pin. And then I wonder if this was supposed to be like that. Um, and I think things slid around, but there's another one of those rods through that spring, a wafer and another wafer. So I think that was the thought behind it, but I think it kind of got stuck. Um, awesome lock, man. Um, definitely, definitely an interesting one. Um, thank you Black Dolphin 90 for sending it. Thank you guys for watching and, uh, well, don't break the law.